No complaints. Hi, everyone. Ann Butler here, along with my creative girlfriend and business partner, Lisa Brojas. That's, That's me. Her. <laughs> Today, I am showing you how to take some dollar store bowls and some napkins and paint and Mod Podge. So to, cool. To create like these gorgeous bowls. Yeah. I love how that turned out. I love, love, love how it turned out. I love how it turned out too. And, you know, when, when I started doing Mod Podge like more than 20 years ago, <laughs> hi, Linda, it used to bother me like um, the bubbles or the, you know, now oh, yeah. I just go with it. <laughs> yep. It just adds character. But these are so cute. And um, I'm going to show you how I got the added shimmer. But before we get started, we want to let you know that the spring issue of the magazine is going to be out at the end of the month. Hi, Ellen. She ordered <laughs> her shaker domes. Yay! <laughs> Those Good are so much you. fun. Hey, um, you can always message me if you have questions, okay? Yeah, just send a private message and she'll get yeah. right back to you. And I'll get back to you Hi, about Amy. it. Hi, so, Amy. So I want to let you know that the spring issue will be out at the end of the month. It has to be because I'm leaving on the 31st of this month for a trade show. <laughs> and I don't want it to go another week and that, you know, yep. so that right. is that is what I'll be working on besides taxes. Um, uh, <laughs> I hate taxes. taxes are Friday, so that's all day tomorrow. But yeah, the magazine will be out by the end of the month. Yay. If you haven't gotten the winter issue, just sign up. It's easy. Go to the learn more on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Sign up there, or Lisa will put a link in to our website, and you can sign up there. And we also have ebooks that are available, and we are currently working on three additional ebooks that I'm hoping will be ready in June. Crazy, crazy, yep. crazy! Yep. They're going to be fantastic ebooks. Hi, Sharon. Yep. Hi, Lori. Hi, Lori. So, yes. Um, I want to remind you guys, Lisa did a Facebook Live earlier today of a beautiful, fun shaker card. Yep. And um, Lawn Fawn is sponsoring. I'm not doing Lawn Fawn today because I didn't get my stuff until Monday. And that's not enough time to prepare a project. It's well, just not. normally it is if Tuesdays wasn't my day to work for the city. Right. And Monday night, we had a council meeting. So Monday and Tuesday were kind of shot. Yeah. Um, and then here we are Wednesday. So, you know. <laughs> but I came up with, with a my... cute project. And with Easter coming up, oh. I thought that these would be perfect. My daughter, my oldest daughter hosts Easter. And I thought these would be fun to bring. Um to put like the mints and the nuts and the, you know, just the fun stuff in because these yes. are done with Mod Podge. They're not going to be like washable. I mean, I know that they have uh, a waterproof one. I didn't use that. Yeah. So, um, and these are, you know, they're cheap. I mean, like the bowls are like about a quarter. So yeah. at the dollar store, heck yeah. yeah. So it's you don't have to worry cool. about them or anything, but they'll be fun and they'll look cute. So yeah, I can't Lisa, wait. To you have anything? Um, let's see. You covered magazines, um, ebooks. Did you cover ebooks? Yep. Yep. No. Okay. So, okay. So uh, <laughs> I, I'm kind of like fading. In I know. I told her to go ahead and take her medicine. Yeah. So, so now I'm just well. kind of fading in and out. Um, let's see. Uh, our do you love to craft group? Yes. We, uh, on Facebook. If you want to join us for that, we would love to have you. Um, and I'm going to put all the links in that Anne is talking about when she uh, switches her camera over. And the other thing is, is for the giveaway for next week, 
Well, the giveaway for this week is Lawn Fun. So they're going to be giving away a $25 gift card. You need to like, comment, share with hashtag Valacrafts. Okay. Don't forget to do that. And uh, then you'll be entered into the giveaway for Lawn Fun. And we're going to be announcing that winner next week. Yep. But we're also going to be announcing the winner here today from last week. So we always keep the giveaways open for a week because the majority of our uh, viewers are on replay. So because of that, we want everybody to have a, you know, a fair chance if you yeah. can't get us live. So we keep it open until the following Tuesday at midnight on central time. So you've got plenty of time to, you know, uh, like comment and share and do all of those cool things. You'll notice that our regulars, you know, for those of you that are new, you'll notice that our regulars put it in almost immediately. You know, you know. yeah, because and they get it. while we would love for everybody to be here live with us. Hi, yeah. Charlotta. We know that that's not possible. Yeah. You know, um, it's, it's hard to find a definite time. And when Lisa and I were talking about doing Facebook lives, she started doing them before I did because my internet connection was so horrible. Yeah. Boy, that's I, rough. But now I have good internet. And um, instead of doing them on two separate days, we thought we would d just dedicate one day for this so that um, yeah. it's not eating into all the other things we have to do or our lives. Yeah. You know, but we love doing them because we love to share. Yes. That's the best part. Yeah. I love sharing. It is. But other than that, I don't, I don't have anything. Um, okay. I am going to switch my camera down. Okay. And, and while Anne is doing that, she's going to switch her camera over. I'm going to start putting some links in for you guys. So you're going to love, love, love this project. It is so cute. It is. It's super cute. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I know. And you know what I want you to, to do really is to hold it the, the bowl up close to the camera so they can see the impressions from the bowl on the... Um, on the inside. On the yeah. Yep. Yep. So I will do that. It's so, it's so beautiful because the, the tissue paper picks up all of the little designs that are in the bowls. So. Okay. There you go. So, what I'm starting with is at the dollar store, at least my dollar store, they have these bowls and now it's a dollar and a quarter store, right guys? But still, <laughs> at a buck and a quarter, you get four of these. And I should use my scissor. You get four of these. And that's cheap. I mean, you could do these for so many different things and throw them away if you wanted. If I were making them for me, $1.50 in Canada. Okay. If I was making them for me, I would probably wipe them out and save them for the next year because that's who I am. But <laughs> my daughter, my, my both my daughters, they may not do that, which is fine. Yep. So look at these beautiful bowls. I have some glass bowls that are like this, and I love them. But these are just plastic. And this is what I'm going to show you. So you can see how beautiful that is. And then it's decoupaged on the outside. So the inside is still that plastic. So you can put whatever you want in there and wipe it out. Yeah. You know, so you don't have to worry about it. But this is, I did it two different ways. This was the first way I did it. Because um, I love shimmer. <laughs> if you guys don't know me by now, <laughs> I love shimmer, I love foiling, I love glitter. So, of course, to me, it made sense to add shimmer to the inside of these bowls. 
because what I was starting with was I was starting with, we had an event for those of you that don't know, um, Bellicon and Plaid gave away these four colors of paint and Mod Posh. And this is what I was working with. But I also have from Plaid, their color shift paint. And I thought, ooh, I have colors that match the paints. And then I thought, well, for those of you that don't have color shift paint, I should do a bowl with without. So this is just the green turquoise. And you can still see the detail. Once it's done, you'll be able to see it better. But I don't think you see it as well as this way. You know. But this one isn't finished. I have things done in steps for you so that you don't have to watch paint dry with me. So I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. And I have a well-loved craft sheet I'm going to pull in and set my paints right here. Now, there are so many cool napkins on, you know, available today. But because I chose these bowls from the dollar store, I thought I should choose napkins from the dollar store. And these are the napkins I got, which I mean, it, these happen to have, so they have the, the green turquoise in them. They have that corally color. They have the palm leaf in that leaf. And of course they have the purple pansy, which, so all of these colors work perfectly with this napkin. So I was glad I picked them up. Actually, I picked up two packages and then I picked up the package of the square napkins too. So, so what you're going to do is, I'm gonna show you two different ways. So first I'm going to show you the way, and I'm going to be using different colors because in the end, I'm going to have eight bowls and um, four of them will be like this and four will be um, the mat. So I'm going to be doing different colors that I haven't done yet. I'm going to pull my sleeves up a little because sometimes I do tend to get um, paint on things that I don't want to get paint on. So to go with the, the flaming coral, I am using, I got to get it up close to me because I don't have a light on in here. I just have my windows open. Um, this is red, brilliant red. So while it's not the orange of the coral, I think they'll go nice together. And I use, when I'm doing something like this, I use makeup sponges, which I also get at the dollar store. And I'm going to show you a trick with them once I get further along in the steps. But I shake my paint, of course, that's important to do. And you can, you can tell a lot of my paint bottles do not have the plastic taken off because as with glue, I tend to pour stuff out. I don't usually use the spouts. So I'm gonna start with about that much paint and I'm gonna use my sponge to wipe the edge of my bottle so that when I put the cover on, it'll still be easy to get off. I think I'm gonna need a little more paint than this, but I'm gonna start and I'm going to start up here at the edges. This isn't going to, this isn't so runny that's going to just um, fall off or roll off. But I want to start up here at the edges. And you can see it's almost sheer. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to get up here close to the edge because this is a rounded curved edge. And I don't want to go up onto the lip of it. I want to get all the way up to the edge 
And I can do that with my sponge, but that way it's just, I'm just doing the outline of it right now and then I'll get the rest of the paint on there. But I just like to go around the edge so that it's all the way up there. And then if I get too much, I just take my finger and wipe it. But I think it's important to get that edge. Even though you can't see it, I can see it. I, I think you can see it just a little bit there. But it's nice because you're able to hold on to the bowl. In the inside, you're not painting. So you can get this whole edge. And then once I've gone all the way around the edge, then I go through and you can, you can dab or you can just sponge it. But like where there's holes in here, you want to make sure you get that coverage really good. And I know it looks all spotty. And sometimes when you do certain crafts, they look horrible until it's done because <laughs> it's just the process. I mean, that looks all splotchy and everything, but in the end, it will be perfect. So I just take and make sure I have a nice coat on here. And I'm being careful not to get paint on myself too much. So this is the first coat. I would have that paint everywhere. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, Dorothy, you know, question for you. Yeah, I got to move something out of the way so I can see it. Okay. They are plastic bowls. They're from the Dollar Tree. So you get four in a package for here. It's a dollar and a quarter. I heard in Canada, it's a dollar fifty. You can do them with glass. I have done glass plates before and they turn out beautiful. But um, these are just an inexpensive thing to bring for Easter for the, the treats to go in. So I have this covered. I'm gonna put just a tiny bit more paint on here. And you can do the paint however you want it. You can do um, I set that over there because I got to wipe the rim before I put it back. But you can do them do it however you want it to have the paint come out. But I like to just get this first coat on and it's okay that it looks messy because you're going to put a second coat on of this color. You're going to set this a drop aside to dry and you're going to put a second coat on just because I think because there's all these indentations and everything, I felt more comfortable putting a second coat on of this color. So I'm going to move this up here out of the way and we're going to let that dry. So I'm going to get my, my baby wipes so I can wipe my hands. And then like I said, you're going to put two coats on there. This is the green. This is um, green flash in the color shift. This one has two coats on, and you can see the coverage is much better. Dorothy, I'm neat and tidy. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I clean as I go. Even when I'm in the garden, I wash my hands in between. Um, but you can see that this is a better coverage with that second coat. 
if you're looking on the inside, you can still, still see spots where it's thinner and heavier, but that's okay. That isn't going to matter. So after you put two coats of the color shift on, then you're going to come in with the palm leaf. And this is the trick I was going to show you. So I used a makeup sponge for this. And I just trim off that edge I used and throw that away. So then I have a, still have a nice piece of sponge and I'm not wasting the entire thing. So you're going to, now you're adding a third coat. And again, I put the paint right on and wipe this lip. You can wipe the lip with a paper towel or your baby wipe. You just want to make sure you wipe it. And with this one, I just add this over everything and thinning it out down there because I had quite a bit on there. And again, I'm coming up along that edge of the bowl. Turn it as I go. But if you get too much, you can just wipe that away. Dorothy cleans as she goes to, yeah, you know, it just, Makes it easier in the end. I mean, there are days when my studio is this entire table is covered and my counters over on the side are covered. But I try to keep things manageable. It just, it's easier for me to craft that way. Okay, so I've gone all the way around the bowl and then I'm gonna take this extra paint and pull it down and around. And this time, this is a, a thicker and it's not a transparent paint. So you don't need as much as the color shift. So you want to get that entire thing and <laughs> then you're going to let this dry. I don't think I could be as tidy painting as you, though. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, sorry. Yeah, it is. I do. I have it everywhere. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. So that is two coats of the color shift, one coat of acrylic paint. And I will put a third coat of the acrylic paint on here or a second coat. So there'll be four coats on here, just because there's so many inside these bowls, there's so many, so much detail. I wanna make sure I get all of that because I can see right here, those three little dots there. It needs paint in there. So if I go through with a light coat, the first time, the second coat of the acrylic paint will catch anything I missed, and then I feel good about it. So I'm going to set that one aside to dry, and I'm going to grab, see, you can see I'm using all the colors. So this is the, the purple, which, oh my gosh, is that not gorgeous? I mean, of course, it's my favorite color. But that is so pretty. So this has two coats of, let me get the color. It is purple flash. 
Okay, so the first one must have been red flash. I was trying to read something down here. But this is color shift. It has two coats of that. And then it has two coats of the purple pansy. So you could put your napkin on from here. But this is a light napkin, right? And I thought, I, I don't want all that dark coming through. So I grabbed some white acrylic paint and I'm going to put some some white paint on here because that you can use white paint or you can use um, uh, cream color paint but I think white just makes everything pop when it's behind something so I thought that would be good. Did you get the color, the color shift paint? I did not get at the dollar store, Dorothy. Dorothy, these paints. Okay, so the acrylic paints and the Mod Podge is something that was in the swag bags for our event. So I'm doing something with the stuff from the swag bags. But because I love shimmer and I had the color shift paint, this um, you can get this online from Plaid. That's um, where I got that. The only thing I got from the dollar store is the bowls, the makeup sponges, and the napkins. So I'm putting, I got a little bit too much. I mean, I know I might need more, but... I don't want it running everywhere. So here, you just want to cover it. And having this white layer is going to make that napkin pop more, which is what we want. We want this to be, we want to show the detail of the napkin and we don't want it dark. And I'm coming up here to the edge again. Grab some more paint. And this is a, something that you can do that you don't have to be like so fussy with. And working with sponges makes it easy to maneuver the paint. And I just think it is good. Michael Canada carries folk art and plaid paints. Okay, yep. So the color shift is just awesome. Okay. So this, again, I would give it two coats. I mean, even though these bowls are bowls that might get thrown away, I want them to look great on the day that they're used. And I would do two coats of this white. So I want to move this out of the way. I'm trying to move things so that um, none of them are touching. So now after you have that and you have two coats of it, then you're going to work on the napkin part. Now this one is not, is without the color shift. So I'm going to just show you that quick. And since I have the green palm out, I'm going to do that because I'm going to do two of each color. And so for this, you would just skip the color shift and you would just put the acrylic paint directly on here. Let me move this out of the way. So you would just be skipping that beautiful color shift 
where it makes it more iridescent and just adding the paint right on, on here. So I would do two coats of this paint and two coats of the white before I would um, go on to the napkin, napkin step, just because you want all of these little beautiful indentations and crevices from this bowl covered. Because from the inside, if you don't have the paint everywhere, it will show. Like even with the napkin on it, it will be the beautiful green color on the inside with the napkin and then Part of the napkin might be pink. That's going to show if you don't have the entire thing covered. So, and if you don't have the entire thing covered and you add your white paint, that little speck of white paint is going to show through too. So you just want to make sure. The first coat I'm never as fussy about. The second coat I'm more fussy about. And I like to get right up to that bridge. And with a curved ridge, you just follow it. You know, you just take your sponge and you just follow it. So this one, again, I would set this aside to dry and then add a second coat of the green. So I'm gonna put this out of the way. So I have all these wet bowls everywhere. And I'm going to shut my paint up, but again, I'm going to wipe the top so it's easy to open the next time I open it. Because I have had problems in the past where you, you work and then you put the cover back on and then you don't use the paint for a while and you go to open it and you can't. So you don't want that to happen. And this one too. So you just, you know, as long as that's clean, it will make it easy to open the next time. Your plastic bowls have such a pretty raised pattern. They do. And I've seen these, okay, so like where I live, I've seen them, but I've seen them um, at other Dollar Tree stores too. I think Dollar Tree a lot of times carries the same stuff because I bought this package of napkins in Texas. And then when I came back home to Minnesota, they had these napkins too. That's why I ended up with a second, second package because I thought it was so pretty. I thought, oh, I better buy another package. But yeah, these do have just beautiful, it reminds me of like a crystal bowl. And you can see all that beautiful detail inside here. Dorothy, when I finish all the bowls, I will put a picture because there, there's so many steps to them. But next week, I will post a picture of all the bowls. Yes, I will. So I'm going to real quickly just wipe up this little bit of paint here. And because I did things in steps, this is the bowl with just the paint, the paint and the white paint. And now we're ready for the napkin. So you do them all the same. You just add the color shift two coats before any of the paint if you want that iridescent. So the napkins, because this is going on a bowl, you could do two layer of napkin, but I'm so used to pulling napkins apart and using just the one layer, I decided to go ahead and do that. So this is a two layer napkin. There are some that are three ply. 
but you just take it apart. And I have all of this left. And okay, so I'm going to do this with one piece of napkin. But I'm saving these pieces because around the edge is where so much of the beautiful color is that you could you could piece your napkin on here too. But because I have so many of the napkins, I am going to go ahead and cut a circle from the middle of the napkin because on that, on this one, see then the middle of the napkin just had this pattern. So that's on the bottom. And then the pattern came up around the edges. And this one is green. So I don't mind using that part of the napkin. Now on the purple and the pink, I think I want, or this is the teal, so I don't mind it but I want more of these colors on those bowls. So I'll use all these edges that I'm cutting off. So nothing really will go to waste except the little itty bitty pieces. I'm gonna move some of my paints out of the way here so that, and I need one more baby wipe. Um, if you can wash these bowls, Sharon, um, I would not wash them because I am not using the Mod Podge. There are all these different formulas of Mod Podge now. And I believe there's one that is washable. But I'm just using what came in everybody's swag bag, which is the outdoor Mod Podge. So this is durable, but no, I would not wash them because Mod Podge... It's going to make this all soft. You can wash the inside of the bowl because you're not putting any paint inside here. And you're not putting any napkin on the inside. It's all done from the outside or from the back side. So for this, this isn't a square napkin. But what I did to, to get to the center, I just put the two points together on one side because that, that kind of gave me the center. And then I came across and I just folded it like four times, I think. Like that. And then... Here's my bowl. This is the center bottom of the napkin. You can kind of judge how far to cut it. And I cut extra just to be safe. So I cut that off. And That's like a great said, tip. Like I said, all this extra with the purple and the, the pinky color will look beautiful on the purple and coral bowl. So I'm saving this because I want those colors to be a little bit more prominent prominent in those bowls. That's a great tip and for this to get to the center. Oh yeah. I mean yeah, to make the circle. It's a great tip. That way, you know, you have it right there. And see, I did cut it bigger, which is fine because you trim it later. So for the Mod Podge, I did not use a foam um, makeup sponge. I pour my Mod Podge out on my work surface. And I don't put it directly on the bowl like I did the paint. Because I don't want this to be thick anywhere. I want a thin layer of Mod Podge. And I'm just using... This is a plaid brush, and um, they do have Mod Podge brushes and stuff, but I find that just a normal brush works fine 
if you wash it right away, <laughs> you know, because this is glue. So you don't want it left on your brush. So I just start at the bottom and put a thin layer. And it's kind of hard to see because I'm doing white on white, but I can see the shine. I think you can see some of the shine. And I'm just doing up to this like first line. So I kind of know where I got the Mod Podge because it can dry quickly. And I don't want to do the whole bowl and have the center dried. So that way I just go over this area. It's okay if it's not exact, if you go down below that line, not a big deal. And then I put the bowl down and I take my napkin and I kind of eyeball where the center of that is. And then I just press and the wrinkles are fine. You have to embrace the wrinkles when you're doing decoupage. It was hard for me when I first started out years ago to embrace those wrinkles, but now it's totally fine. I'm going to pour more Mod Podge out. And you can thin this out a little bit if you want to. I chose not to because I wanted it durable. And there's so many kinds of Mod Podge. So just check and see. You don't have to use this outdoor stuff is what came in the swag bags. And that's what I wanted to use. Now here I'm coming all the way up to this, this edge. I'm trying not to go over it. If I go over it, I will take my thumb and wipe that away. But for here, I'm doing like a section at a time and putting it down. And I'll just go around this. And this is another reason I didn't use the makeup sponge. With the brush, I'm able to get up underneath where I can't really see. And it's easier to maneuver and get this Mod Podge everywhere it needs to be. And then, you see those wrinkles? It's fine because once you put your layer of Mod Podge over the underside and the, the back side, it is all going to be just fine. So I just do small sections when I'm doing this because I want to make sure I get it all. And you can, you can take and cut your napkin so that you didn't have so many wrinkles, but then like when I'm done here, I'll cut into this because you can see where that little extra is. I'll cut that away. But you like you can cut it and overlap it so it looks perfect, but your pattern isn't going to line up that way when it's flowers. So I just let it go. And you can also go ahead and put Mod Podge on the top while you're doing this layer. But I find it's easier to work with the napkin dry on the top. And just do this layer first and then I'll come over and do the top. But see how easy this is and the results are fabulous. Your Dollarama has small bottles of the Mod Podge. That's great because you don't need that much. And like I said, you can water it down if you have to. Uh, wipe that edge away. So there you have that part done. And I'm gonna cut some of this away. I'm not gonna cut it all away. I'm gonna cut it closer to that edge, but I don't wanna cut it all away yet, just in case 
when I'm going over it with the second layer, if I would move something and I need that little bit, I'd rather trim all of this, the little tiny bit away at the very end. So, and then come over here and press this down, like, cause you want this to have the surface contact of the bowl. You don't want any air pockets. Like when you have um, bubbles, you want to press those away. The folds are normal because this is round. If you're going on a flat surface, it's much easier. But because you're coming up and around on a circular surface, you are going to have the folds. But you want to make sure you don't have any air bubbles. Okay, and at this point you can let this dry and then come over and add the Mod Podge on top or you can add your first layer of Mod Podge on now. But on this one, I did two layers of the Mod Podge on the outside. But okay, so I wanted you to see, you can still see some of the detail of the bowl, some, but nothing like this. And of course I gravitate, like I said, toward the pearl. But this is beautiful in and of itself because it's more of a matte color, but it is glossy because you've worked from the back side of it. So when you put your second layer of Mod Podge on, that's when you're going to come in super close and trim this away so that you can see. This is why I come, came up really close with um, the paint so that that is what's on the edge. But you come up really close and just trim all of this away. And that's, you know, you can see some of the wrinkles in there. But by putting two coats of the Mod Podge on, you're encasing them all. And isn't that fabulous? I, I have to, before I switch my, I'll let Lisa talk for a minute um, while I clean my, I need to, I don't want to waste any of the Mod Podge. So um, I'm going to bring Lisa in to talk for a minute so I can pick all of this up before I switch my camera over. Oh my gosh, she's too cute. And then, of course, I have a little thing of water so I can stick this brush into the water right away because, like I said, this is glue and you don't want the glue on here. But one more tip, I always wipe it with a baby wipe before I stick it in the water while I'm using Mod Podge to try and get out as much of that extra that's in there. Yeah. And then I'll put it in and I sit and flatten it to get all of that extra out. Oh yeah. You know, so I'm gonna leave it in there for now. Just, I wouldn't normally leave brushes in water but I'm going to until the live's over just so that I make sure all the glue's out. There you go. So yes, Becca, you are right. It is, you know, um, it doesn't cost much to make this, you know, you're just going to pay for your paint and, you know, well, that's where the, that's where the majority of the cost is going to come. Is from well, the I think, I think the apple barrel paint is like a dollar. Yeah. Walmart. I yeah. think it's, I think the color shift, I don't want to say for sure, but I think it's like between four and six dollars, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. But you can always get it for half price with some of those coupons at, you know, always. some of the places. Look for yeah. the 
we look for the deals. <laughs> I know, right. But isn't that just so beautiful? It I is. Mean, I just, it's, they're, they're just absolutely stunning. I just love them. And they're just easy. I mean, yeah, easy to make this one. Like I said, you don't see the detail as much, but I love that it's shiny on the inside. Yeah. So it's just your preference. Everybody has a different um, what for what they like. And some people are going to like it without the iridescence and some aren't. So, yeah, no, not me. I would like glittery <laughs> stuff just like you. Yeah. I, I I love love glitter. <laughs> Gotta have glitter. You could make them to match any event. Yes, oh, Amy. That's perfect. That yeah. is that is the cool thing about it because and once you have paint, even the color shift, it lasts for a long time. I mean, you saw yeah. I didn't use that much. Yeah. You know, so you could make a lot of them with it. And these are so cheap. So Oh, color shift is three seventy seven. Thank you, Lori. Yeah, I didn't know four to six dollars. So three seventy seven. That's a great price. Yeah. See and Amazon. I think I think Love I Amazon. have um um nope I didn't. Okay, I thought I had a link for it. I will put a link in here because we do have our affiliate link. I can put our affiliate link in here for Amazon. Okay. For the color shift. Actually, I'll do that while Lisa talks for a minute. Yeah, because the affiliate links, if you guys use those when you're purchasing things, you know, uh, from one of our lives, we get a tiny commission off of that. You, you guys don't pay anything extra. It's nothing for you. It's just the company set it up for designers. So, you know, we can get a little break on the products and stuff that we're using in our lives and what their, you know, other designers are doing with their, in their work is what I mean. So, yeah. yeah it's, it's just a way to, cause we're, um, we <laughs> really promote products we love and um, mm -hmm. it just helps. Yeah. So here, here's the, Affiliate. I have well, I have to type in affiliate link according to rules of the FDC or whatever. No. Um, oh, Linda, don't be sorry. Yeah, if you're talking about the affiliate link stuff, don't be sorry. There's a lot of people that that uh, don't know about it. You know, oh, we yeah. post it. We post it. Um, like when I do my blog posts every week, there's a message right at the top of our post that, you know, we use, we have affiliate links that we use in the products that we're using, but there's no extra charge um, to right. you for purchasing. So, right. you know, the companies the just can see, that. they can see who's promoting them right. you know, when people use our links. Right. And we have to, we have to Just say, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have to post that it is, you know, that there is affiliate links involved. We and do. You know, it's it's so. a whole legal thing. Yeah. So yeah. But the affiliate link I put in is actually, it takes you right to the Mod Podge. And then from there you can find the, um, nope, they work on Amazon Canada too, Dorothy. Yeah, they, there you go. Our links work worldwide. Because so many of our viewers are not yep. necessarily yeah. in the U.S. So, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. So, I hope you guys like the project. I had fun creating it. And I love um, crafting. <laughs> so, I know. So, but that's got to be really relaxing, too, Anne. Just sitting and putting the coats on and just, you know. No stress. No stress. Yeah. Just taking your time. Love that. Yeah, it is. It's good. So um, we have a winner from last week. We do. Yeah, Lisa's going to announce. Thank you, Lori. I'm glad you like the project. Yeah. yeah. I will post a picture. I will finish all eight of these and um, post a picture next week. 
Yeah. Okay. So this is the winner from last week. Um, Dare to be artsy. And they're giving away a $25 gift certificate, I believe. Yes. Um, and that was this the winner for that was Bonnie Smith. Oh, Bonnie. I think so, she was at yours. I don't know if she's here. Oh, congratulations, Bonnie. I, I don't know, but she's the winner. So I will be contacting you to get your information. And yay. So congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. We love, we love being able to do giveaways everywhere. Oh, we love giveaways. They're so I much fun. I think <laughs> next week we're actually, it's the fourth Thursday of the, or Wednesday of the month. So we're doing an interview. Yep. And, um, you will love our interview. And even when we do interviews, we do a giveaway. You know, we give away an ebook or we give away a prize package. We do something. Yep. So we, we just love that. giving away. <laughs> we do. Well, and it's always fun to have a chance to win something. Oh, yeah. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah. Okay. So... So next week it is okay, Gina. I'll check it once I get off. Um, next week it is just at two o'clock central time. So yes. we only do one when we do the interview, and we do it at two o'clock central time. <laughs> yeah. I, I was thinking we do it at two o'clock so Lisa doesn't have to get up so early. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to get up so early. I could sleep in a little bit. <laughs> She's on Pacific time. So that would be 10 o'clock her time if we went at noon. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Dorothy. We appreciate all of you that come yes. and watch us. We just love yeah. it. Yeah. You so, guys are amazing. Until next time, take a little time to craft. Because it's good for your soul. It really it, is. It is. Lisa knows that if anybody. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> what is the time? Zone? I'm in central time, Dorothy. So right now here it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It was just a quick, uh, quick shaker card, a slim, slim line shaker card. <laughs> Super cute. So, yeah. So have fun watching that. All right, then we're done for today. So yeah. Yep. We will see you all next week. Thank you so much for coming. Yes, you guys have a great week. Okay.